Welcome to Metafields guys, it's so nice to have you here. Today's gonna be a, a GoPro focus on how to take images while you're riding. It's been another question that I have been asked on multiple occasions and I am here to hook you up with all the goods. Okay, so you've seen my last video up here, how to set up your GoPro for the POV awesome styles. And now you're wondering, all right, so, so what do I do now? So, you know, do I just hit record? Do I set it to auto? Do I, what the hell do I do? with my GoPro. Okay, so firstly, to many of the questions that I've been asked, no, I do not take photos while I'm riding the bike. While I'm riding, when I'm riding, I'm just riding. I don't think I've ever actually pressed the shutter button on a GoPro before. Like, they are good cameras. They do take quite a good quality photo if you just want to use this as a camera to take photos with. But I've never done that while riding. I've even had some people send me photos of dudes strapped DSLRs on their chest and been like, man, is this what you do? What do you do? How do you take these photos? So I always shoot in 4K. There's never a time I'm shooting in 2.7K. There's never a time I'm shooting in 1080 or 720. 4K all the time. I do it because for me, as I'm riding, I've got this on, I'm riding, and I'm literally taking 24 images per second that I can use to share with you guys on my Instagram. So I'm doubling up here. I might be vlogging or I might be just riding, having a great time and I'm just getting that awesome footage. So you're basically just getting more bang for your buck every time you go out for a ride. You can just get all these mad epic kangaroo. In Australia, we have kangaroos here. A moose runs across the road. Whoa, boom. You've just like caught that. You've caught every single of it running across and you can go back through and choose where you want the moose, kangaroo, cow, whatever to be at any time for you to share with your mates and everything and then chuck it up on YouTube, chuck it up on your Instagram story as a video as well as a photo. Double bang for your buck. Ah, I love this. This is awesome. This little thing here, whoo, it opened up so many doors and I only stumbled across it while I was riding through Switzerland. I thought I'll just chuck it in my chest mount, looking all cool. And I, I just had no idea. I was at the airport leave, leaving Switzerland, just at the airport, just all on my phone. Da 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 da. Just, you know, just like, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell is grab? What's grab frame here? Pulled the frame in, threw one of my presets on. Boom, my mind was blown. Threw it up on Instagram. You guys smashed it. You guys munched it up. Got so many likes. And I was just like, this is it baby. This is a this is a new little technique I can do So I started wearing it all the time and now I've just got like so many photos to choose and pick from anyway Let's go into it. Let's get into it a bit deeper I'm gonna talk about my settings and then we're gonna go through how to pull it off your GoPro edit in Lightroom Chuck a preset on there and then off the Instagram and start crunching that Instagram game of yours yes. Okay, so I'm gonna chuck the settings up right here So you can get your phone out and Take a photo of it. There it is, there it is, there it is. Going, three, two. Okay, so you're sorted. Now go out for a ride and come back. Damn it. Okay, you're back. Alrighty guys, jump in in your phone. You're gonna open up the GoPro app. You're gonna say view media. All right, so there is the footage of the ride that I just went on today. Man, it was good. Cold, but good. Okay, so down the bottom, you're gonna see that little icon of a picture with an arrow pointing up. You're gonna tap on that. This is your grab photo section. Now from here, you can sort of swallow, like slide through. Oh, look at that. Like, how even just good does that look? You can just go through this bad boy. Now you can tap the left and the right icon. Dunk, 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 dunk. So that's one photo, that's another one, that's another one, that's another one. And you can go through and choose whatever you want, whatever vibe you're after. Sun pop, I hate how there's all these cars around there. Uh, okay, so I want this to be a thumbnail for the video itself. I haven't even chosen a thumbnail yet. So we're in this together, guys, me and you. So now what I like to do, because your shutter speed is slower, you're gonna get that motion blur, which is cool. But see like right there, right now, everything is hella blurry. So that's obviously me going, huh? and then that's all blurred. So to be mindful a little bit while you're riding, try to keep your head as still as you can. Obviously the wind's, you're just moving around a bit. You wanna to try to find the image that has the least amount of motion blur in it. So by reference, for reference, I'm going off the, the tank stripe. So I try to find the clearest one possible. So yeah, that's all blurred like an absolute mofo. I'm gonna just back it up a little bit. And that one looks, that one's pretty cool. So, all right, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try to just nab that one. Although that car's there, I know it sucks. We're just gonna do this as an example. So we're gonna hit top right hand corner, save frame, download to app. Boom, downloading to the app. Got it. Back out now, down the bottom, you're gonna see the photo icons. Hit that and there you can see your image. Boom. 
at its highest quality, which is I think around like it's around eight megapixels the image pulled from 4K footage. That's pretty. That's pretty good. It's no. It's no billboard quality, but it's good for posting on socials and everything like that. People love it. People froth in it. So what did I just do then? Sorry, I just I just skipped ahead of myself. You're gonna hit save to photos. You're gonna open up your photo editing app. Mine is Lightroom. You're gonna hit the little plus icon down the bottom right hand corner. Import from camera roll. There it is. There. Boom. She is now in. Hit the little tick at the top right hand corner and you are in baby and you are good to go. Now if you'd like a bit more help navigating through the free Lightroom app, you can check out my tutorial here and out of it you'll get a preset. So you can keep that preset forever and you can smash it on here. Or I do have a preset pack for sale. You get 15 presets. They are now all available for the free Lightroom app. So we're gonna jump in that right now. We're gonna hit presets, Motorfills preset pack. There we go, we've got the 15 bangers right there. And then you can just pick and choose. Pick and choose whichever one you'd like to go on there. I reckon that looks pretty sick just there. How cool does that look? Bam, bam, bam. Sweeper is always a favorite of mine. I'm gonna hit that bottom right hand corner, hit the little tick. Might just line it up a little bit. Zunk. Bring those hearts a little bit lower. Bring those whites a little bit down. Boom. Before, after. It's subtle, but subtlety is key when it comes to editing. If you want to end up uploading this to Instagram, say, personally, I don't like uploading photos that are so landscapey, so wide. So this is 16 by nine. And for Instagram, I like to post five by four. So it takes up the most screen space. So I will crop this to, well, it's five by four, but it's actually four by five. And just adjust that as much as I can to get as much as I can in. You do crop a bit out of it, which sort of does suck a little bit. But this is just one of those things, it depends what you sort of want to be in the photo, which, you know, that looks cool. Rule of thirds, if you don't know about rule of thirds, maybe I'll do another video on that, another tutorial, another Thursday tutorial, keep this Thursday tutorial vibe rolling. I'm digging it, it's a cool little vibe. And there you go, bam, you're gonna hit top right hand corner, export to camera roll, and now that is good to go, it is that easy, that's all you have to do. Alright, let's do another one. Um, we're gonna do another one because this is hella fun and that was an awesome ride and I'm just keen as to see how it went. Okay, so this is where I was cruising across the Anzac Bridge. Yeah, it's one of my favourite. Look at that, it's it's such a sick bridge, it's awesome riding over it. You've got the city there, Sydney City is right in the background. Oh, what a good time. Cruising through there, there's a cool spot here where there's usually a lot of traffic, like all through here. Rolling right around, there's this cool part with these glass, these glass windows, yeah, these these golden glass windows. I wonder if we can do something with that. Oh, that looks cool. So again, I'm just trying to find that, trying to find that right spot, just looking at the tank really closely there. You can also flick your phone on landscape mode so you can get more you know screen facility there so you can see what the hell you're doing but for you guys i'll do this because that'll whack there cool all right uh, we'll, we'll try that out let's do that save frame boom download to app now you can just go crazy you can save as many as you want you can absolutely just go mental remember you're taking 30 photos in one second so you've got like you've just got so many it's like a little gopro photo hack all right, so I'll save that, back out of it, go down to your photos, there it is, boom. You're gonna hit the top right hand corner, open up a Lightroom or whatever app you're using. Bottom right hand corner from camera roll, presets. Uh, so it's a bit darker. I've been digging my red line. I'm gonna go with the red line again just because I've been digging these blues. I really like the way these the blues come out. Brighten it up just a little bit. That looks pretty cool. How is that before, after? That looks, man, that looks sick. I'm so stoked with that. That's awesome. All right, so then I'm gonna just crop it. Five by four. I might even use this photo for the, might even use this for the thumbnail, who knows? This is why you want to use Superview because you want to get most, you want to get all that in there. It's just annoying that it's, you know, you sort of miss out on the whole thing. Sick. All right, bang, you're going to export to camera roll. Doosh. 
And guys, that's pretty much it. That's that is how I take photos while I'm riding my bike. You know, I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling around like this with my my camera just you know hanging out. It's quite simple. It's quite easy. If you have a GoPro and you have a chest mount, just start with the chest mount first. You don't need to have all the gear or anything like that to take some awesome photos using your GoPro and doubling up and taking some footage and snaps at the same time. You can just go all out. Start getting epic footage from your country, from wherever you are, your city. I want to see. I'd love to see more of this style of photo from people around the world, like. Wherever, wherever you are and make sure you tag me if you're using my presets as well tag me mfz presets and i'll share your stuff on my stories and get a get a cool little vibe going i hope you like that little tutorial i will delve into more of the settings and everything like that maybe in a in a later vlog we'll just we'll just smash the settings i'm like i'm still mucking around and testing out new things trying and trying and pushing pushing them boundaries to try to get the most out of this little guy because this while you're riding your bike is like the most important camera you can have all right guys that is it from me i'm rob hamilton thank you so much for watching i hope you liked that video if you did please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see this on a weekly basis and i'll see you all next week peace legends be the sun